Hey there, Delaware Bible Church. This is Pastor Aaron here, and uh, just wanting to give a few minutes worth of a tutorial for Right Now Media. I know that we have re recommended that to you on occasion, and maybe been mentioning a lot lately with the stay at home situation. It's a great resource, and I know that sometimes there's just a lot of questions on how to get set up with something new, and so we thought this video tutorial might be helpful for you. What you're looking at here is the home screen from my computer. As you can tell, I'm, I'm yearning for baseball to return. It's one of the things that I am missing right now during this unusual time in our country. And I uh, can't wait, can't wait till opening day. Hope, hopefully there will be an opening day this year. All right, well, enough of that, let's get started. So uh, if you open up your email after receiving a Right Now Media invitation, you'll see an email that looks just like this. Uh, you'll see that, um, uh, sorry, you were looking, you're seeing a different email, no problem. You'll see uh, that I have an email here that says access your free Right Now Media account. Sometimes the pictures get restricted by your email uh, program. Uh, I, I just click download pictures if I want to see them. But that's what the email should look like. You got Tim Tebow there. He's got some stuff on Right Now Media that I've, uh, I've shown to some students on occasion. It's been pretty good. And down here it just explains what this is all about, that Delaware Bible Church is gifting you with free access to Right Now Media. It's something that our church pays for on a yearly basis so that you can benefit from it uh, free of cost to you and your family. So you'll just click the Get Started button, uh, I, and uh, you'll do that right here. And you'll see the screen open up. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make things a little easier and clear, clean up that screen for you. And this is what the website will look like uh, for the first time. Uh, you're being given free access, it says, the biggest video Bible study library in the world. And I have to agree with that. I haven't come across something that's more substantive, more uh, uh, with, with just so many resources than right now media. And here's a little bit of a explanation again from our church in terms of what's going on. Uh, you want to fill out a profile. And so I've, I've typed my name in there already. Uh, Aaron Hedges and got the email address that I sent it to and then I'm going to create a password. I would encourage you to make sure it's a password that you're going to remember and uh, then I'm going to click uh, uh, gender and that I'm married. My birth year is 1984 and for this purpose I'm going to say that I'm not on staff at Dollar Bible Church. Most of you receiving invitations that would be the case. I'm going to say that I'm an employee and these are just, these questions right here at the bottom of the screen, um, those are just uh, for uh, helping Right Now Media determine what resources to recommend to you along the way. Um, I'm going to affirm that I have some affiliation with Delaware Bible Church and that I agree to the terms of use. If you want to read them, you can click on that word right there. And then you hit next. All right, my web browser is asking me if I want to if I want to save my login information, sometimes that's helpful to do. I'm not going to do it because I'm going to get rid of this account as soon as the tutorial is over. I already have one on my Delaware Bible email address. And so this is the website that it opens up to. And this scrolling banner here is just showing you some, either some just released content or maybe some content they're recommending in light of what's going on in the world today. And so this series here, this overcoming anxiety during COVID-19, uh, Pastor Scott had recommended that on a recent lunchtime broadcast, and it is a good one. And there's just a variety of things that you can take that, that that they're encouraging you to take a look at there on that top banner. If you're a, a, a family with young kids, grandparents, parents with kids in the house, uh, if you just click this kids tab up top, it'll take you to their kids page, and uh, just so many different things on here. You can take a look at. You hear me talk about Seeds Family Worship all the time. It's right here. Uh, those are those are so great. Our family and our life group both enjoy those. Uh, my kids love allegories. Um, I know we've got some other families that have loved watching Boz. Uh, of course, most people are familiar with Veggie Tales, and uh, so there's just a lot of things in there that you can check out for for the kiddos um, that that might enjoy those things. If you look along the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see uh, just different ways to get into more specific sections of Right Now Media. Uh, conference sessions, for instance, 
uh, you've got you've got an opportunity. You know, we can't always get to uh, we don't always have the money or the time to get to conferences in person. And so they have some conference sessions that you can watch uh, right from the comfort of home. And so Right Now Media has their own conference. It's called the Right Now Conference for Church Leadership. This Work is Worship conference is so great for anyone who's in the workplace. Um, Ann, Ann Beeler, for instance, is the founder of Annie Ann's Pretzels. Phil Vischer is the VeggieTales guy. Uh, there's just a lot of good. We had a, we had a Work is Worship conference at our church a couple years ago and uh, it was much appreciated by those that came and so you can see just these are all sorts of business people that just have a great take uh, great encouragement for people in the workplace and how to view their work as worship to the lord the gospel coalition national conference uh, puts their sessions on right now media after a while and so that's what conference sessions are all about if you want to see just what's new um, you know what's new or what a lot of people are watching you can see what's going on there is the series on responding to crisis obviously is a hot topic right now uh, personal devotion and small group studies are, are, are a bigger thing bigger interest right now because everyone's home and so there's a lot of small group training available in fact I think yeah look at that right there how to lead an online small group for those of you life group leaders that would like some help on how to do that uh, I would encourage you to go to right now media and watch that watch that video session there on some ideas and how you could about that. Here's some things families can do together uh, and so on and so forth. And you continue going down on the left-hand side, there's things for youth that's usually middle school and high school students, marriage, parenting, men and women. Here's books of the Bible series. Uh, a lot of their books of the Bible series are really good. Oh, by the way, this, this Bible project series uh, has been uh, shown at times at our church by Pastor Scott, uh, very much recommend that you use these to accompany uh, your your own personal study through God's Word. Those are great videos to watch. Uh, you actually see them right here along this line. They're they're fantastic. But their books of the Bible studies are are typically pretty good. Uh, the youth group's going through Psalm 23 right now. We did the Book of Judges uh, back in the fall. Uh, the summer the summer forge hangout, as we call it, hopefully will occur this year. And we'll probably be in the book of Colossians with Louis Giglio. What's nice about these sessions is that they are uh, not very long. In fact, these ones here, 15, 18 minutes, that's definitely on the long end of what I've seen. Most of the time, they're 8, 9, 10, 11 minutes. And for me as a teacher or a life group leader, I, I, I remember a couple of years ago, I took my life group through a Chip Ingram uh, study on Titus. What's nice about those shorter videos, you could show that, basically use it as a springboard because that's what these are designed to be. These are these videos are just overview. They kind of remain, for the most part, on the surface. There's usually some good contextual information shared, maybe some historical background information shared. But for me as a teacher or life group leader, I, I often will start with that short video and then I'll take care of diving deeper into the text and pulling out some some more points or principles or applications and so uh, I, for instance if, if you're a parent with a student in the forge who's going to be coming to our summer hangouts uh, this year and and you hear that we're going to be going through the book of Colossians as a parent I would very much encourage you to set up your own account if you haven't and each week at least watch the video sessions and you'll have some idea of what your child is learning that particular week as a life group leader uh, or ministry leader, what can be helpful is that if it's a Right Now Media produced series, it'll have this Right Now Media banner on it. There are often free resources to download. So you can download the leader's guide for this study, instructions on how to use it, uh, participants handouts that you can print out and distribute every week, and even some free promotional material that you can use on Right Now Media if you'd like to, or not on Right Now Media, but on things like Facebook or Twitter or Instagram. And so that just gives you gives you a closer look at, at kind of being inside of a series. Uh, you can go on down the left hand side and there's just more more areas. There's a lot of good apologetics uh, studies in here, uh, doctrine and theology, small group studies, uh, mental health and recovery. I just want to let you know we have we have a lot of people uh, who are helping us kind of weed through that. Um, and, and, and there are several of us that are just trying to weed through right now media in general. As you can imagine, this takes time. There are thousands of resources 
Uh, but as we see things that aren't so good, we, we remove them. And as, as we see things that, are, that we think are helpful, uh, we'll leave them in for you to access or we'll even encourage you to access them. And so it's, it's not perfected yet. And so if you ever come across a, a study or a conference session or whatever that, that raises a red flag for you for some reason, just reach out to me or a pastor on staff or an elder on the elder board, and uh, we'll certainly be glad to give that a look for you. We're, we're, this, this process of weeding through all these resources is going to continue taking some time, as you can imagine. Uh, but you just got more and more places to go to. The last thing I wanted to show you uh, for this tutorial is if you have any connections with people who speak Spanish as their primary language, there's even a Spanish section on Right Now Media where they have done a variety of their series in Spanish. And so I would encourage you to uh, take advantage of that as, a, as an evangelistic tool uh, if, if you're uh, trying to build a relationship with somebody whose primary language is Spanish. All right, so if we go back to the main page here, I'll mention a few, few last things here before we're done. Uh, you can search for things. And so if, if say you want to, uh, you, you want to learn more about Psalms, then uh, you could type that in and here are some Bible studies that might be on some of the Psalms with you. Here's Psalm 23. It's the one I told you the youth group is doing right now. Um, here's a, uh, a Bible project uh, video overview of how to read Psalms. It's, it's really good. Uh, and so that's how you would use the search function. Uh, over here, you'll see send invites. And what that looks like is this right here. Um, this is mainly like a lot of times uh, when people sign up and give us information for like the church directory or to receive one calls or the weekly update, a lot of times we'll get, say, um, the, uh, someone's email in the household. Uh, maybe it's the wife, but we don't have the husband's email. Well, in this case, if you're the wife, you can type in your husband's email and send them an invitation to set up their own right now media account. With their, with their own email address. Or right now I'm encouraging parents of teen students in the Ford Youth Group to encourage their uh, children to set up a Right Now Media account with their own email address so that they can do our weekly uh, youth group study uh, together. And so that's what you would use this, in, uh, this uh, inviting option for. Um, if, you, if you would like to extend an invitation to someone who's not really affiliated with our church, we actually have permission from Right Now Media to do that, but it'd be very helpful if you uh, would reach out to me first so that we make sure we know um, who that person is when we're looking at the names of users. We, we look at the names of users once or twice a year um, to keep our list as accurate as possible. And what I mean is we only have uh, so many invitations that we can give out at any one time. And so if, if someone, say, moves out of state uh, and, and then obviously they'll start attending another church, then we would remove them from our account so we can free up space for somebody else. And so occasionally we'll go through there and we won't recognize names. And so it's a bit of a process to track down maybe who those people are. And so we want to encourage you to consider this. If you're trying to witness to somebody uh, and you think this could be a helpful tool for maybe you want to go through a series with them on Right Now Media, uh, we would highly encourage you to do that, but it'd be good if you, if you would reach out to me. And I, I say that because I, I am the right now media contact for our church. And so if you could reach out to me ahead of time and just give us a heads up, that'd be great. Uh, this is your profile uh, tab. Um, you can add things to your queue. Uh, so if something looks interesting to you, you can, there's an option that says, says add to my queue. And you can start building a list of things that you want to work through over time. Your inbox will, will most likely only ever say um, something other than zero if you're sent like a right now media training post. And that's currently what I'm doing with our youth group is I'm, I'm taking an online study with right now media in Psalm 23, and I'm creating what's called a training post, which includes questions for students to answer or maybe a box for students to ask questions of me. And when they complete that week's session, then I, I can see that they've completed that and I can see their answers, I can see their questions and we can have a conversation about what we're learning through this study. 
And so maybe you'll have a life group leader along the way decide to do that with your life group. And if, once they send out that training post to everybody, you might then see something other than zero there next to your inbox. And if you do, you want to click on it and see what's going on there. Uh, I, this is a really interesting thing. If you click device downloads, this screen will give you an opportunity to, to receive instruction on how to connect to Right Now Media with all of these different devices. So say you don't want to use your computer all the time. That's fine. You can use a Roku stick or your Roku TV. You could use your Apple TV. You can use your iPhone or iPad. Um, all these devices are, are connected to Right Now Media right now. And you can just click on it and it'll give you instructions. For instance, I clicked on Roku and, and here's some, you can download detailed instructions on how to use Right Now Media on your Roku device. And so hopefully that can be helpful to those of you that want to use Right Now Media on maybe different devices. If you have questions or need help, this support tab can be very helpful to you, but you're also welcome to reach out to me. I'd be glad to help you in any way that I can. And, and I think that's, that's about it right now. Uh, again, we encourage you to check this resource out if you haven't. Hopefully this tutorial has helped explain what the process is like. And once you, once you set up your account, uh, then uh, you should receive, I don't have it yet because, I, because I've done this before, but you should receive another email that, that says something like, congratulations on setting up your Right Now Media account. Um, so anyway, so there you go. Uh, hopefully that has given you a good idea on how to go through this process. Again, if you would like to receive an invitation to, uh, to register your email address with Right Now Media, let me know and I will be glad to help you out any way that I can. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial and we'll connect with you again down the road.